Health is a state of complete harmony of the body, mind and spirit. When one is free from physical disabilities and mental distractions, the gates of the soul open. Yoga is a mirror to look at ourselves from within. The body is your temple. Keep it pure and clean for the soul to reside in. Yoga is like music, the rhythm of the body, the melody of the mind, and the harmony of the soul create the symphony of life. Yoga allows you to find an inner peace that is not ruffled and riled by the endless stresses and struggles of life. The primary aim of yoga is to restore the mind to simplicity and peace, and free it from confusion and distress. The pose begins when you want to leave it. Willpower is nothing but willingness to do. Your body exists in the past and your mind exists in the future. In yoga, they come together in the present. Yoga teaches us to cure what need not be endured and endure what cannot be cured. Focus on keeping your spine straight. It is the job of the spine to keep the brain alert. Change leads to disappointment if it is not sustained. Transformation is sustained change, and it is achieved through practice. If you can adapt to and balance in a world that is always moving and unstable, you learn how to become tolerant to the permanence of change and difference. The art of teaching is tolerance. Humbleness is the art of learning. How can you know God if you don't know your big toe? Yoga is firstly for individual growth, but through individual growth, society and community develop. The ultimate goal of yoga is to realize the brilliance of your soul. If you keep your armpits open, you won't get depressed. Love begets courage, moderation creates abundance and humility generates power. Hatha Yoga teaches us to use the body as the bow, asana as the arrow, and the soul the target. Words cannot convey the value of yoga, it has to be experienced. Giving does not impoverish us nor does withholding enrich us. Yoga allows you to find a new kind of freedom that you may not have known even existed.
regulate the breathing, and thereby control the mind. The mind is the king of the senses, and the breath is the king of the mind. When stability becomes a habit, maturity and clarity follow. 